millions of people claiming their state pension can look forward to an inflation-busting boost next month when payments rise by 8. 5% from April 8. Under the wages growth measure of the triple lock policy, those on the full new state pension can expect an annual increase of £902, while those on the full basic state pension will see an uplift of £692. However, while the annual operating will be welcomed by more than 12 metres pensioners across the UK, nearly 500,000 older people will not qualify for any increase to their payments, even though they have accrued the required amount of national insurance contributions before taking retirement. This is because they have chosen to move abroad in retirement and the country they are living in does not have a reciprocal agreement with the UK government. This means that some retirees have seen their state pension frozen at the point of emigration. However, the End Frozen Pensions campaign aims to end the injustice of pensions for Britons who have moved abroad who do not receive the annual increase in line with the triple lock policy. Under the triple lock, the state pension increases each year by whichever is the highest between average annual earnings growth from May to July. The Consumer Price Index CPI, inflation rate in the year to September or two. 5% The campaign, run by the International Consortium of British Pensioners, advocates on behalf of around 450,000 Britons affected by frozen pensions and has a number of parliamentary supporters, including Scottish Lib Dem MPs Wendy Chamberlain and Alistair Carmichael. SNP MPs Martin Day and Ian Blackford, ALBA MPs Neil Hanvey and Kenny McCaskill and several Labour and Conservative MPs. And it's not just members of Parliament, peers from the House of Lords, high-profile celebrities and notable organisations are also supporting the End Frozen Pensions campaign, a full list can be found on its website here. The campaign also highlights how many of the state pensioners affected worked as nurses, firemen, police officers and other public servants, some are military veterans. Campaigners warn that many are now living in poverty despite paying their national insurance contributions in full. The End Frozen Pensions campaign explains. They moved, often to be near family, to live in one of the countries without a reciprocal agreement to inflation link their state pension, so their pension is frozen at the level it was at when they left the UK. Those in countries with reciprocal agreements are unaffected so if you were a pensioner in the USA you would continue to get an uprating, but if you lived just across the border in Canada you would not. We believe this is deeply unfair and arbitrary and penalizes hard-working Britons. As an example of the difference between state pensions for those living in the UK and those in a non-reciprocal agreement country, a pensioner aged 90 who has lived in a frozen country for the duration of their retirement will receive a state pension of just £43.60 per week. If they had continued to live in the UK they would be receiving £156. 20. Campaigners also point out that the highest numbers of affected state pensioners are living in some of the largest Commonwealth countries such as Australia and Canada. Retired expats in the European Economic Area EEA, will continue to receive annual increases to their state pensions under the triple lock, as will those in a host of other countries including the Philippines and Turkey. Online petition An online petition on the End Frozen Pensions website has already received more than 20,000 signatures of support. One story involves an who is 98 and served in the Second World War who worked in the UK up until the age of 76. She paid her national insurance in full, however, when she left the UK and moved to Canada to be closer to her daughter and grandchildren, her state pension was frozen at £72.50 per week. 
Her state pension doesn't increase in line with the triple lock, so it falls in real value year on year. If she had stayed in the UK she would be receiving £156.20 per week on the basic state pension rate. The petition highlights a number of people who have retired abroad and are missing out on the annual state pension uprating. You can view the video and petition here. New state pension payment rates 2024-25 These payments will rise by 8. 5% full payment rate 221 pounds and 20 pence from 203 pounds and 85 pence every four week pay period 884 pounds 80 from 815 pounds and 40 pence basic state pension payment rates 2024 25 these payments will rise by 8 5% Category A or B Basic State Pension, Full Rate, £169.50, from £156. 20, Every 4-week pay period, £678, from £624.80, Category B, Lower, Basic State Pension, Spouse or Civil Partners Insurance, £101. 55, from 93 pounds and 60 pence, category C or D, non-contributory, 101 pounds and 55 pence, from 93 pounds and 60 pence, get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. New, get our money news alerts on your phone by joining our daily Record Money WhatsApp community. Additional pension payments increments to the following will rise by 6. 7% Maximum additional pension, own plus inherited, £218.39, from £204. 68 Increments to the following will rise by 6.7% Basic pension additional pension graduated retirement benefit, GRB. Inheritable lump sum addition at age 80, 0 pounds. 25, no change, increase of long-term incapacity for age higher rate, 28 pounds. 40, from 26 pounds and 60 pence, lower rate, 14 pounds and 20 pence, from 13 pounds and 30 pence, invalidity allowance, transitional, for state pension recipients higher rate, 28 pounds. 40, from 26 pounds and 60 pence, middle rate, 18 pounds and 20 pence, from 17 pounds and 10 pence, lower rate, 9 pounds and 10 pence, from 8 pounds. 55, join our daily record money WhatsApp community here to receive alerts on the latest money news from benefits to shopping deals.